All right, then welcome back everyone. Let's solve this question. Strange partition. I hope you have read the question once, but I'll still read it. Now this question is based on um, math, right? The simple observation of math was required, and you should be able to solve this question. Let me read out the question quickly. So what we are given is we are given an array a of length n, and one operation is defined. What is that operation? Replace any two adjacent element with that sum, right? So three six can be replaced by nine, or six can be replaced by fifteen. So replace any two adjacent element by the sum. This is the operation, and of course, from the operation, the array size decreases by one. And they have defined something called the beauty of an array. What is the beauty? It's summation of b i by x. This x will be given. This x will be given as input here. You can see x is given as input. Summation of b i by x seal, right? So if you have array like this, a one, a two, a three, the beauty is defined like this: a one of x has seal plus a two of a two divided by x has seal plus a three divided by x has seal, right? So yeah, this is what the beauty is. Now what they are asking is, what is the minimum and maximum beauty you can get by performing some operation in the original array? The there is no bound in the operation. You just figure me out what is the minimum beauty you can achieve and what is the maximum beauty you can achieve. Right, so the question is simple. Given an array, we are given an array of length n, and I guess the elements are only positive. Okay, that that is good. And uh, you can replace any two adjacent elements with their sum, thereby decreasing the array size by one. What you are after is minimize and maximize this quantity. That is summation of b a by x seal. Summation of seal of b a by x. That's what we want to minimize and maximize. Okay, fine. So I'll write my aim here. As always, my aim is minimize or maximize this b a by x seal. Okay, so this question is about minimizing and maximizing this value, right? This quantity. Of course, i goes from one to n. So you want to minimize it and you want to maximize it. That's what you're after, right? So we can maybe take them one by one and try to see. So this question is revolving around finding the seal, right? So what do you know about seal? Like, what operation you have? The operation that you have is operation that you have is replace adjacent element by their sum. That is the operation you have. Now, the question depends upon whether by con by whether by Combining these two adjacent elements with their sum, whether the seal is increasing or not, right? So what I'm saying is, see, let's say I have these three elements, three, five, and uh, nine, right? So what I'm saying is, whether by combining an element is my beauty increasing or not, or in other words, if I put it like this, or if I just make this like this, eight, nine, whether the beauty will increase or not, right? Whether the beauty will increase or not, because here the beauty will be what? Let's say x is defined as something four. Here the beauty will be three by four ka seal plus five by four ka seal plus nine by four ka seal, right? Whether by combining any two elements, if I'm getting a gain, like what is happening to seal? That's what I'm saying. Uh, how is the seal? How is the beauty getting affected? That's what I'm saying. Or in other words, how is the seal getting affected? Now this observation I, uh, is not very difficult to make. That uh, if you have two elements, let's say here three five, if you have two elements three five, then uh, three by four seal plus five by four seal. Is of course greater than equals to three plus five by four seal. Right? This is not very difficult thing to observe. If you have two numbers x and y, if you divide by if you have two numbers, let's say a b, and you divide it, you divide them by x individually, and then add their seals, it will always be greater than doing a plus b and then dividing it uh, by the x and taking a seal. It's obvious why? Because adding these two guys might uh, might make the number divisible by this x. Right? So what I'm saying is, see here the answer would be what zero point something something. So one here the answer would be what again uh, one point something. So it will be two. But here the answer is what. Five plus three, eight. Eight by four is divisible by four, so it will be two. So you got a gain here, right? So this is not very difficult thing to observe. If you have two numbers, if you have two numbers, if you have two numbers a and b, then a divided by x seal plus b divided by x seal is always greater than equals to a plus b divided by x. This is not very difficult. Why? Because this a plus b here might become a divisor of x. But here, if a and b are not divisor of x, then we'll get one more gain here, right? So you'll get you'll get a gain of one here. If a and b both are divisor of x, then answer is still same, right? Because if a and b both are divisor of x, what I'm saying is, if you write something like this, four, eight, four and eight. So of course, dividing it, if you divide individually by four and take seal, or you do four plus eight by four, the answer is still same, right? So here the answer won't change. Uh, if a and b both are divisor of x, then answer will stay same. So that's why equals to here. The equals to comes from the fact that if a and b both had uh, both are divisible by x, then of course they both will be same. But if not, you'll always get a gain here. Let's say this was not divisible by five, then you'll always get a gain here, right? But which here you might lose on. I'm not saying, uh, I'm not saying this will be always smaller. But there is a chance it can be smaller when a plus b becomes divisible by x. Right, so this observation is there. Okay, so what observation did we make? A by x, the individual seal a by x plus b by x is greater than equals to is greater than equals to a plus b by x. Okay, let's try to use this. What can you make out of this observation? One thing is for sure, the individual seals individual seals are more like are always more or equal to than taking the sum and seal. Right, so it's always better. To keep the elements as individual, individual, then to add them and take seal. Adding and then taking the seal, there is a chance that the seal might reduce, right? 
So there is a chance. If you add elements, that is you apply an operation, add or should I say apply an operation, apply an operation, there is a chance, there is a chance that this seal might reduce or you can say the beauty might reduce, right? So what does it say? What does it say? That if you want to minimize the beauty, if you want to minimize the beauty, just add all the elements. Why am I saying it? Because adding the elements may keep the beauty same or they may reduce it, right? Adding the elements may keep the beauty same or reduce it, but they cannot increase the beauty. It directly comes from this fact only, right? When you add elements, they cannot increase the seal. They can decrease the seal, right? So adding the element can only decrease the seal. So what it simply says is the minimum beauty that you can get, the minimum beauty that you can get is A1 plus A2 plus A3, so on, An divided by X, right? So what you have done effectively is you have, perf you have performed N minus one operations and uh, converted your array to just a single array, a single element. So you had three, six, nine, right? You first replace them with 15 and then you replace it with 18. So you now have a sing array with single element, which is sum of all their elements. If you want to minimize the beauty, just apply the operation n minus one number of times. And now you have a single element, which is sum of all the elements. And you can be sure that this will be the smallest possible beauty. And this way, this like the individual GCD, so not GCD. And what is the maximum beauty then? What is the maximum beauty? The maximum beauty, the maximum beauty would be simply individual seal sum, right? A1 by x plus A2 by x so on a n by x right uh, why <laughs> because individual seals are always more than taking the sum if you are still confused uh, hear me out it's very simple so a1 plus a2 let's say we have only three elements a1 plus a2 by a3 by x so this seal right so i'm claiming this is the smallest possible seal and it is why because adding the elements only reduces the can either keep the beauty same or reduce it so let's say this was one element and this was another element so you can write it like this right you can write it like this it is less than equal to a1 plus a2 by x plus a3 by x, right? Now, similarly, if you break this, this can be written as less than equals to a1 by x plus a2 by x, right? So all in all, this can be effectively written as a1 by x plus a2 by x plus a3 by x, right? Adding all the elements is giving you the minimum uh, beauty. And that's obvious because adding elements only can keep, either keep the beauty same or reduce it. And the maximum that you can get is this only, a1 by x plus a2 by x plus a3 by x, right? So the question is done and dusted here. The minimum of beauty that you can get is simply summation of ai divided by x seal. And the maximum beauty is, uh, don't do anything. It is summation of ai by x ka seal, right? So difference, right? Here I have just taken the summation and divided by x and here just uh, do the individual, add up the individual seals. That's what it is. So yeah, uh, that's that about uh, this question. Let's just quickly code it up. Okay, guys, uh, let's quickly code it up. So I've already taken the inputs n, x and the array. Now, first things first, uh, let's uh, find out the minimum beauty. What is the minimum beauty? Uh, sum of all the elements uh, divided by x and its seal. So for, we have to find out the sum, right? So I've used long, long here because the uh, constraints were high, right? The array elements were 1 in 9. That's why if you see, I've stored array element as long, long. So, but I have to perform some addition and all, right? So I'll use long, long here, fine. And uh, sum equals to, I'll of course use accumulate, or uh, Google accumulate to find out the sum of the array elements. I'll use uh, all of ARR. So this all uh, I would def uh, define the type definition above. What it does is it just replaces it with ARR begin, ARR end. I'm just being very lazy here, but it's fine. You can be lazy in competitive programming, uh, not in your interviews, but okay. Now you find out the sum. What is the value of uh, minimum beauty? B min will be simply seal of this, right? So seal of this sum by x. Now you can use, of course, the seal function in math library, but other way to you, you can do it like this. Sum by x plus sum mod x. This is like sum mod x not equals to zero, right? So this is other way to calculate seal. See. See, if sum is perfectly divisible by x, then your answer will be simply sum by x. If it is not, the remainder will not be a 0 and 1 will be added. So this is another way to calculate uh, seal. Okay, and you should prefer this one uh, instead of using the seal function in math library because it deals with double, right? So double, you'll always run into precision issues and all this stuff. So let's not go there. Fine, so this is the value of b min, minimum beauty, sum of all the air elements divided by x and it's seal. Now you want to find out the maximum beauty. When can you get the maximum beauty? When you don't touch the air element because adding the elements, summing the additional elements is reducing the beauty. Right, so b max. I initialize it with zero. Then uh, I'm gonna go through all their elements. I'm gonna go through all their elements, and I'm just gonna add it to b max plus. Again, same. You have to add a by x. You want a seal of this a by x. So of course, a by x plus uh, our good old a mod x not equals to zero. If the divisor, if the remainder is not zero, you add one to it. Right. So that's the definition of seal only. Right. And uh, yeah, that's all. In the end, we can just uh, print uh, b min followed by space and followed by uh, b max for the new one. Right. So very simple, uh, we calculate the minimum beauty here uh, and we calculated the maximum beauty here. The good thing you might be able to learn here is this is how you calculate seal uh, without using the seal function in math library, right? So let me just quickly run it, six, six, uh, seven, eight should come, right? Yeah, uh, it seems to be working, let me just quickly submit it. 
that works uh, thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one